What's up everybody? This is Antonio bringing to you truth and results training. All right, so in this video today, I'm going to share with everybody on the importance on choosing the right spotter for your safety and theirs. Couple days ago, um, I wanted to drop this a little earlier, but a couple of days ago, I ran into um, actually, I came across a video that was very, very disturbing uh, to me. And um, I see this all the time in the gym, and I'm sure everybody else can relate to this video as well. I'm sure they've probably seen something similar to this um, if they've been lifting for a very long time. I'm going on 12 plus years, so I've definitely seen things like this of this nature, but I haven't really seen anybody address it. Um, but, so in this video, I want to share with everybody on the video that I came across, and it's very, it's very cringing, and I'm surprised nobody else haven't gotten injured on this, uh, on this particular video and exercise that they were doing, all right? Um, but check this video out really quick. So if you see what happened, they were screwed from the jump. Anybody who's been lifting, who have some knowledge of fitness or anything like that, you're gonna, you know right away when the, the minute they started that exercise, they were in deep trouble. And I'm gonna tell you why, for anybody who does not know. Anytime you lift in that much weight, squatting that much weight, etc., they have safety bars they have the power rack the squat rack they have all these safety features in the gym nowadays that you should set up your safety first before you want to attempt some type of movement like that especially when you're lifting that much weight okay that's number one number two anytime you go over in my opinion 315 pounds of any movement safety needs to be in place it's not saying that somebody is is weak. They're not saying somebody that they don't know what they're doing. That's actually making you smarter than others. Okay, what they should have done in this video, they should have made sure that the safeties was in that area first. They should have made sure that safety was in that area first by squatting in the rack. Okay, not lifting that weight, backing it up. Okay and then squatting. The minute I seen they start backing up, I knew right away that they was in trouble, okay? For example, I'm gonna give another example. Let's just say that they were squatting and he able to make that rep. Now, that person who was having all that weight on, on his back, now he has to walk that weight all the way back to the rack just to rack it. Big mistake, okay? I'm surprised that didn't go down even a, a lot worse than what it did, okay? Um, check it out. Check this video out one more time. Okay. Exactly. Okay. You see what I mean? The minute they walked, they picked it up. He walked it all the way back. I already knew right away that this may not end good. And what do you know? It ended pretty bad, so I, I don't know if anybody was was hurt in that in that in that lift. I hope not. Um, what I do hope, out of everything, what I do hope is that person learns for for that next time they want to go in there and squat that much that much weight. Okay, but on the flip side, I want to tell everybody the importance of choosing your right spotter. Okay, now this guy, you can tell he can lift some uh, a decent amount of weight. Um, for his size, um, okay, that particular day, maybe he have a, a bad day or whatever, whatever the case may be. However, however, um, if you know you're going to choose that much weight, okay, so I think he had, I don't, I don't know how much, exactly how much he had, but he had a lot of weight on there. Already, before you continue with that lift, make sure that you can get somebody who can spot you the correct way, okay? For example, 
if I was in that gym and that guy pulled me to the side and said, hey, can you spot me really quick? Of course I would have said, yeah, no problem. But the minute he would have unracked it and start backing all the way up, I would have told him, whoa, whoa, whoa. you know, I think it'd be safe to go to, to the rack. Just, just, you know, to be on the safe side, you know, because this is still a lot of weight and we're not trying to injure ourselves here. Nine times out of 10, that person would have listened, okay? So that right there, that spotter behind him, didn't have much knowledge at all. Two, I would have told him, okay, not only are we gonna go over there to and, and squat in the safety, okay, for one, I would have had at least leverage to know to pick him up and rack the rate. You can tell right away when he lift him up, he tried lifting him up, he didn't have enough strength to do it all and he just went back with it, okay? So make sure you choose the right spotter that can actually manage to help you, give you knowledge if you mess up or whatever the case may be. Spotters is very critical. It really is. For example, let's say you're going to bench press 315. Let's just say that. You don't know if you got it or not. You're not going to pick the smallest person of the gym to make sure they got it. Not, not, not knocking the person who can't, who, who, who just started out or the beginner. Not knocking that person. But any event that you cannot get that weight up off of you, 315 pounds. Anybody who lifted 315 pounds off a chest, off a bench, or whatever, it's not light. You can't say, oh, the person that's, that's bench pressing, he's going to help me do it. Because at the same time, if he can't rep it, he's going to still try to give it all he can to push. But you can't put it all your, your effort thinking, oh, well, he's going to lift it. You should be able to shrug it up with a little of his, of his help and way to rack it. A person who's a beginner is not going to do that for you. Okay, so again, make sure you choose your right spotter. Make sure you choose because it, it, it takes a little bit more than just saying any, mini mighty mo going to the gym and just say, okay, well, come on over here and spot me. Okay, you want somebody with knowledge. You want somebody who can help you if you if you if you to get you out of the bind if you in that level. And last but not least, you want to get somebody who's if you're lifting a lot of weight, who's advanced that can help you if necessary. All right, everybody, I hope that's been informative and I hope that helped everybody out on this um, because it's very critical. Spotters is very, very, that's your, la that's your lifesaver. If you're going towards a rep and you can't make it like that guy did, you want somebody to bail you out. Other than that, that's it, everybody. I hope everybody have a great day and I'll talk to everybody later.